On News Nation, a former inmate speaks exclusively about how he says corrections officers forced him to participate in fight nights at New York City's largest jail. And joining us right now, Nicole Burley, host of Rush Hour, right here on News Nation, is joining us. You did this interview, and you're going to share the facts about fight nights. I guess whatever happens behind bars does not stay behind bars anymore. Adrian, that is an excellent way of, of putting it. Absolutely does not stay behind bars. We're talking about Rikers Island here. So we know at least 16 inmate deaths documented, and that is last year alone. We've heard about plenty of protests coming out of Rikers Island. So this is some great investigative reporting by Ayanna Harry from our New York City station. She really dug into this, and these are shocking allegations. This is surveillance video that appears to back it up. We're taking a look at it right now. You can see that group of inmates. They're clustered together there. They're cheering that we can't see inside the cell. However, a man who was being held at Rikers Island, he says inside of that cell, it's an example of fight night is what he's calling it. Basically, inmates encouraged to fight each other by gang leaders, and it's not stopped by the guard. So his name is Dominic Nelson. He claims he is one of those inmates forced to fight. Let's listen to what he has to say. They will give us compensation like cigarettes or drugs or food and stuff like that to like do stuff to other inmates. Last incident that I had, I knocked a guy out and I peed on him to see he'll pay me to do it. All right, so you, you just heard him there say the CO paid him to do it. Now, again, that is Dominic Nelson. And I do want to reiterate, this man was arrested on attempted murder charges. Now, he says he is trying to fight that. But, but Nelson claims, again, he is one of eight men who was forced to participate in these fight nights, that a jail officer would not let him back out of it. He says that actually the inmates were given things to encourage them to participate in these fights, things like drugs, cigarettes, and food. And Nelson said that he was stabbed in the eye and actually had to be hospitalized because of it, Adrian. This is a little harsh uh, to think about uh, early in the morning, for sure. But I know that you're going to dig deeper into this on Rush Hour. Uh, how credible is this person's testimony, uh, Dominic's testimony, or, or I even a testimony, his story, his recollection? Right. No. I mean, Adrian, that's an excellent question. Okay, so we tonight on Rush Hour, we will hear from Dominic Nelson's lawyer. And uh, believe it or not, because of Nelson's testimony and because of his lawyer, a judge actually ruled that he be taken out of Rikers Island, saying that it was not safe for him to be held there based on that video. And again, that is surveillance video taken from inside Rikers Island. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.